Okay, so we've been talking about how it is that we know what it is that's true by the way that we look at the how accurate our cognitive maps are, how closely the map fits with reality, and thus to what degree does it actually have the quality of truth. Lots of things are true, but not everything that's true is helpful. So we're moving now into understanding what does it mean to be helpful, and helpful is that which moves us towards what we need. In order to move towards what I need, I have to know what that is that I need, and that means i got to be able to pay attention to what it is that's going on with me at all times. We want to be able to always speak the helpful truth. Mostly, though, this is going to arise for us at points in which we find ourselves to be in conflict, in conflict with the people that we're closest to, that we have the most significant relationships with. And that, as it turns out, is the hardest time to speak the helpful truth. So one of the things we want to start with here is to look at what do we mean by conflict. Mostly we don't like being in conflict. We think we ought to be able to live lives that are free of conflict. Not possible. Conflict is a natural and normal occurrence in every system, not just human systems. It, conflict exists in nature. Thunderstorms are an expression of the conflict in the atmosphere. And if it weren't for turbulence in the atmosphere, we wouldn't get rain. So we need weather. We need systems in which there is a disturbance at every level. So conflict is actually a good thing depending upon how it is that we address it. Sometimes <clears throat> when we're facing a conflict that is arising, particularly in a really significant relationship, and it's something we've tried to talk about and we haven't been able to work it out, we may decide that the conflict is simply intractable. It cannot be resolved. That's never true. There's always uh, a possibility for resolving conflict. The difficulty is that we're defining not only conflict, but also resolution in a way that doesn't actually work. Remember, we can define things any way we want. We can pick any cognitive map we want. Um, sometimes we don't pick a cognitive map for understanding resolution that actually allows us a, a mechanism by which we can solve things. So resolution is not making everything perfect forever and ever. Resolution is moving the system that we're in towards a state in which we have more of what we need. It's impacting the larger system of which we are a part in such a way that we are creating more of the qualities that we need so that not only do we get more of what we need, but everybody in the system gets more of what they need. Okay. Now, the third difficulty with the way we think about conflict is that we use the word conflict to talk about two different but closely related phenomena. One of the ways we talk about conflict when we say things like conflict is suspended in Darfur. All that means is people are not shooting at each other right now in Darfur. That doesn't mean that the underlying injustices that have caused the shooting have been fixed. When we saw the, the knee on the neck of George Floyd and watched him die, it was an example of an injustice. And the result was people taking to the streets in ways that are unprecedented. Not the first time that protest has been happening, but in such a large scale. The conflict in the street is a manifestation of the underlying injustice that happens within our society. It's a way for the body politic to say, ouch. So the conflict exists whether or not people are protesting. Conflict arises in our relationships with others as evidence of a perception of some kind of injustice in the system. And so resolving the conflict doesn't just mean not fighting about it anymore. It means actually addressing the dysfunctions in the system in such a way that we construct what we need in a way that everybody gets what they need. And speaking the helpful truth is a primary kind of um, strategy for being able to do that. So let's go to work here and figure out just what it is that we need.